what's up guys welcome back to my channel so at this point i am super pregnant i am 36 weeks and i just put on this romper because i usually wear a dress but i'm trying to be comfortable and sit on the floor so yeah it's actually really comfy so i wanted to show you guys my amazon favorites i'm not going to show you everything i got off amazon for this baby just because some things I have not tried out yet and I want to review everything before I let you guys know if you should buy it or not because that's the kind of person I am. Sometimes we buy really expensive things for the baby and then they end up not even liking it. So I don't want to put that stuff in this video. Um, but everything that I'm going to be showing you, I have previously used the same exact thing for my first daughter or... I use something really really similar um and if you hear my two-year-old she is supposed to be taking a nap so long story short my child will completely take advantage of me and she actually got out of taking naps for like over a year um but since I put her into daycare they always take a nap at one o'clock and she actually goes to sleep and she listens to them so good. Like she's literally the best child at daycare, but she'll come home and completely run over me. But obviously that's every child with their parents. So if you already have a kid, you have probably experienced this. If you are expecting your first kid, um, get ready because they will try to run all over you. Um, but yeah, I try to keep her in that same routine of going to sleep at 1 o'clock when she is home on the weekends. Um, but to be honest, she usually does not fall asleep, even though she sleeps all week at school. Um, but I still make her lay down just to keep the same routine, hoping that she'll fall asleep. But who knows? So if you hear her, she's supposed to be napping. Um, but you know, you know how that is. So anyways, just to give you guys a quick little update before I show you everything, I put a bunch of random stuff, well not random stuff, but everything I wanted to show you on the floor because I'm getting pretty large and to be honest, I do not feel like getting up. But this week, I definitely feel really, really pregnant. I am officially nine months. Um, I have been really tired this week. I kind of had some symptoms as the first trimester. I got a little bit nauseous, which I haven't been nauseous in a really long time. Um, I feel really hormonal and really tired. I don't know if it's just from like working and taking care of my daughter and I clean every night, cook every night and all that. Um, but I've been doing that my whole pregnancy and I felt fine. I do get up pretty early at like 6 um, or 6.30 every day. So yeah, I don't know if that's why I'm tired or if pregnancy is just hitting me hard. But I definitely feel like in the next few weeks, I'm going to get energy again because you always get that nesting phase right before you go into labor, which honestly, I've been nesting um, this whole entire pregnancy and I pretty much have everything done while I do have everything done, but I'm probably going to get a kick of energy again. And I'm also probably tired because I never get a chance to like take a nap or even sit down or relax at all but it's been good though like I haven't really had any complaints um I'm ready for the baby to be here but I'm also gonna miss being pregnant because I really do like being pregnant this pregnancy has been super easy and even if you are nauseous or sick or tired or whatever during your pregnancy it's still part of the experience so it's definitely obviously worth it um but yeah, I'm just going to jump into this video. The first thing that is a must-have is obviously a little boppy. And this is like a breastfeeding pillow. Well, I'm too large right now. You can put it around you to a breastfeed. I'm not going to be breastfeeding this time. Um, but my daughter really loved hers because I would just prop her up in it. And she would, you know, just sit up. You have to really watch them. And these though because they can slide around and yeah you have to watch them and everything so just giving you a warning now but yeah my daughter loved this I used to bring this all over the house I would put it on the floor when I was doing my makeup and she would just sit up and, and chill and just look around so yeah it's definitely a must-have even if you are planning to not breastfeed and 
I breastfed my first daughter and I don't even remember using this pillow that much to even breastfeed. I just remember my daughter always just sitting up in it and chilling. Another thing that is an absolute must is a little baby lounger. They have all different types, all different brands. It doesn't really matter which one you get. I got this one because it matched the theme of her room. I try to do like a flowery theme if you can't tell. But yes, a baby lounger, definitely, definitely a must have. To be honest, my daughter, it really helped her sleep when she was a baby. She would take her naps in her little lounger and I could put it anywhere. And I feel like this really helped transition her into her crib just because she was so used to taking a nap in it. And during the day, I would let her nap in it. Um, in her crib obviously I would watch her but it was just an easier transition I plan on doing the same thing with this baby um, I also plan on using it in the pack and play a lot because I'm gonna have to protect her from my crazy toddler and my cat because they're already messing with all her stuff and I know they're gonna be obsessed with her so yeah I used to like just put it on the couch and let my daughter sleep in it and then eventually put it in the crib but She's probably not going to be on the couch this time. She's going to have to be away in a packing play or somewhere with some type of protection from my wild household. Okay, so two bottles that are must-haves for me anyways. Um, when my daughter got a little bit older, she could use whatever bottles she wanted. So I mostly got the smaller bottles. Um, for the Dr. Browns, I did get the pack where I think it was like three little ones and then two bigger ones. Um, I will link everything in this video down below. But this is definitely a must-have for newborns just because with my daughter anyways, she could suck a regular bottle down so fast. Like if it didn't have the colic thing in there, I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. It's supposed to prevent gas and everything. Um, but if it did not have like a special little, I'll show you, a special little connection part, my daughter could suck the bottle down in like a minute, even though the nipple was actually for newborns. I think I even got her some preemie ones for the other bottles and she could just get them down. So this really, really, really helped her in the beginning. And then obviously when she got older, it doesn't really matter if, um, they drink faster because they don't really get stomach issues so she eventually transitioned into just like normal bottles but in the beginning you definitely want to get something for their bellies and if you're doing breastfeeding and formula or even if you just want to put the breast milk in bottles sometimes you have to try all different bottles because you don't know what they're going to take because they're used to you breastfeeding um, I did that with my daughter, but thankfully she would drink anything you would literally put in her mouth. So it wasn't an issue. It was just how fast she could drink. That was the only problem. So I did get these bottles as well. And I got these all in the smaller ones. And the thing that's cool about the Tommy ones is um, it also has the little part two for the colic and this one actually is blue right now but if the bottle is too warm then uh, it turns pink so it also has like a little temperature thing as well so I think these are really cool these were some favorites um with my daughter I think I tried all different bottles with her um I don't really remember but I do remember definitely get the colic ones let me just go ahead and do the bottle warmer since i just did the bottles but obviously any type of bottle warmer is a must-have it doesn't really matter what kind you get um for the most part i'm pretty sure they all sterilize uh, and you warm up the bottles with them but yeah this one is a little bit bigger than the one that i had with my daughter so i think i will like it more but definitely any kind of bottle warmer you just have to have i don't go the extra mile and do wipe warmers and all that for my kids um i am trying to get out of completely spoiling my kids because uh, you know 
I just took it way too far with my daughter. I used to like warm up her bath towels and stuff for her um, when she would get out of the bath. And I guess that's like okay whenever they're newborns. But my daughter's two years old now and she wants me to take her to Starbucks before daycare. And it's like, okay, I need to break some of these bad habits that I created. But I will say, even with my first, I was super strict about like sleeping on your own, be, being able to put yourself to sleep and sleeping in your crib. Obviously, I don't really like the cry out method because I just don't like to hear my baby cry. But my daughter was always really good with self-soothing, so she never really, she never cried it out, but she could soothe herself to sleep. I did end up getting the Halo Swivel Bassinet this time, but I'm not gonna put it in this video just because I haven't tried it out. But I did have a different bassinet for my daughter and it was okay, but it was kind of inconvenient because I had to actually like get out of bed to put her in and out of it, which I felt like I was doing that all night. So the swivel was supposed to be just better to get them in and out. Um, it can come right up to your bed and the front lower so it's easy to grab them out. This one, the swivel one, vibrates and it has like music and a, and a light and stuff. And I'm pretty sure the one that I had with my daughter, I think it rocked and had music and stuff so it's a little bit different but i'm hoping this one is easier um just to function better when you're like half asleep at night um but i did get this sound machine and it's also a night light as well which is obviously really important um when you have a baby because you're constantly getting up in the middle of the night so you need a light and this sound machine has like 20 different sounds so you can find anything that you like just plugs in so anything like this or similar is obviously you just have to have it i got this one just because it had the light built in so two on one okay so the next thing that i found is actually really cool these burp cloths so if you go into a regular store and go to the baby section it is hard to find little burp cloths like this you literally have to go to like bye bye baby or online um so i just ordered mine online and yeah it came in a pack of five all different designs but it also came with two little pacifier holders and I know they have really cute ones on Amazon with like the little beads and stuff but I just like the simple flat ones just because your baby's gonna start rolling over and stuff and if they have this clipped on them you just want it to be comfortable so that's why I always just stuck with the traditional ones um, but yeah it comes with two matching binky pacifier clips and then it comes with a little pacifier holder which I think this is so cute I'm actually going to take these things to the hospital and I put her little pacifier in there it matches as well but yeah I will say my daughter loves her pacifier um and so I let her have it I obviously took it away from her by a certain age like I'm not gonna let my toddler run around with the pacifier but when they're babies it could be a lifesaver. Okay, so this is super, super random, but I have to include it because it's definitely a must. So this time around, I'm gonna be making my own baby food. And this is just a little steamer that you put in a medium sized pan. Um, and then you just put a little bit of water in the bottom. I already tried this out. And I know they have baby steamers you can buy separately, but I wanted to get something where like, I'm not just going to be cooking just for the baby. Like, I'm going to be cooking for me and my daughter as well. So, I wanted to get something that I could use for all of us. But, yeah, you just put it in a little pot and put a little bit of water in the bottom and you steam your vegetables. Um, it's really convenient because if you boil them, it loses a lot of the nutrients. So, steaming is better for making baby food and just eating in general. So yeah, this was not very expensive at all, but they have different sizes and it's definitely a must, but be careful because when I first used this, I literally cut myself. I don't know, something was sharp. So obviously my next thing is this even flow baby. This is actually for the stroller, the little bassinet, but the whole stroller set is honestly so amazing. And I already put the car seat and stroller in my car i did an unboxing video for you guys but my first time around i had something similar to this but it was way more expensive the maxi cozy one and this the even flow one is so so much better i already tried it out i tried putting the car seat in taking it out snapping it into the stroller and it's just so much easier the stroller pushes so good 
So I definitely recommend this one over the Maxi Cozy one. Um, just because it's more expensive sometimes does not mean that it's better. So yeah, if you guys want to watch that video, then go ahead. I have a few other things I'm going to show you guys. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so another must have is this swing and i just like to go with a traditional swing because to be honest my daughter loved her swing and hers was very similar to this it rocked this way so you can also move it in the other direction so it can rock this way as well and i was gonna get the mama roof for this baby and just try it out but i asked a lot of my friends and they were all like no the traditional ones are so much better and you know what i agree if it's not broke don't fix it you know like my daughter was obsessed with hers so i definitely recommend just getting a regular swing okay and the next thing is this bouncer and to be honest my daughter did not like her bouncer that much she was not a big fan of it but it is something that you definitely need just to bring them around the house like I would put my daughter in her little bouncer and would take a shower and would put her in the bathroom. So it definitely comes in handy, even if they're not the biggest fan of it. They will sit in it for a good like 10, 20 minutes at least. If it's not their favorite, if it is their favorite, then you're lucky because you can literally just bring it all over the house. But it's definitely a must, even if, you know, they don't like it. So I didn't get anything too special or fancy i just got like a regular traditional bouncer um but yeah hopefully this baby likes it a little bit better okay guys that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys liked it i just went through a bunch of random stuff that you have to have for your baby it's literally a must but i will have everything linked down below if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share subscribe and i'll see you guys next time